Hello everyone, it's Reed again. Um, I wanted to take a minute and uh, update you guys on the progress I'm making on uh, my truck build here. Uh, one thing I wanted to run by you, uh, I've looked a lot online and watched a lot of YouTube videos about people doing engine swaps in different vehicles. Now this is something I do, I've done quite a bit. I've never actually done a lot of pictures or videos of doing this kind of thing, but I've got some experience doing this kind of thing. Uh, I noticed that on a lot of videos, um, let me update you. What I'm doing here is uh, this is a 1988 um, Chevy 1500 Sierra. Uh, it's two wheel drive, um, long bed, uh, regular cab, not an extended cab. Now, this originally came with a 4.3 V6 in it. I'm changing it over to a V8. Now, I didn't do much research online before, just jumping right into this kind of thing. It was a little bit more than what I expected after, of course, buying the truck. Um, one thing I noticed, though, when I went online and I did a lot of research and watched some videos about people doing these kind of engine swaps, I noticed people made a lot more work for themselves than doing you know, things a little bit differently. So instead of going by what I've seen on a lot of videos, I decided to do my own custom work, and then I wanted to show you guys what I did. For those of you who have been watching my, uh, my Facebook page, page on um, facebook.com slash um, read projects I got all the pictures of me doing this build me cutting the mounts making the mounts everything and how I did it I just wanted to show a video that way uh, anybody for future reference this is the easiest way to do a VA uh, swap in one of these trucks it saves you a lot of time a lot of work uh, a lot of pretty much everything um, now what I've seen online most people do when they go to change these things is either one they cut holes in their frame to get to the bolts to the engine mount the engine mounts on these things bolt to the frame itself instead of bolting onto the engine so you got three bolts inside the frame housing that you can't get to so a lot of people cut holes in the frame little slots into the frame to fit a wrench inside there to unbolt the, the bolts and then they got to try to hold the bolts and everything to get the new mount started well what I did was instead I cut the old plates off. Instead of actually cutting the frame to get to the bolts, I uh, took a big old grinder and I grinded away the bolt heads and then tapped the, the nuts out from the back side, letting them uh, run out and fall down below the A-arm there. Um, made it a lot easier getting the brackets off. Now, instead of going and getting V8 mounts to mount onto the frame and have to worry about fishing the bolts up there and stuff, if you guys uh, look on YouTube and find you some of these videos you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, instead of doing that I decided to reverse the mounts. I took the 4.3 engine mount. Now I'm going to very, be very clear on this. The original stock 4.3 mounts which is what you got right here they are not strong enough to hold a V8 really. Um, especially one that's been built like the one I put in here. Instead they actually make performance 4.3 mounts. These, they're the same thing, but they're made to handle a V8. They're about twice as much as a regular 4.3 engine mount. These here you can pick up for about $12 all day long at Advanced or AutoZone. The V8 version of this is the exact same thing, but it's meant to handle V8. It's got thicker rubber on it and a little bit thicker metal on it to handle the more weight and the more power. Uh, they run you about $24 to $25 a piece at Advanced or AutoZone. And those are the ones that you want to get. Now the 4.3, like I said, it mounts backwards in there compared to a regular V8. The cups, the shell basically that goes over this, is what mounts onto the engine on a regular V8 truck like this. These mounts will mount onto the frame. Those are the ones that people have to cut off and do a lot of work, etc., etc. Instead, the 4.3 mount actually bolts to the engine. So you have this part that's on the engine and your cup is on the frame. Instead of bolting the cup to the frame, I welded the cup to the frame. I cut all of it off and cleaned up the bracket and everything. If you, Like I said, if you look at all the pictures on my Facebook page, you'll see how I did all that. And then I even got a video on my Facebook page of me welding the actual mounts to the frame. This does tremendous things for you. It, it eliminates a lot of work, for one, because you ain't got to cut holes and slots into your uh, frame to get to the bolts. And number two, future engine mounts. When you go to change it, all you have to do is take the pressure off the engine, take an engine hole. You're going to have to lift the engine up anyway to change the mounts. 
this way all you have to do is take the weight off of it take the center bolt you see here out and then the three bolts on your engine and these right here will slide straight up out of place and you can drop your new ones in it makes changing engine mounts so so much easier you never ever have to worry about bolts inside the frame again so for future reference anybody that wants to do a v6 to v8 swap Go to my Facebook page and look at the pictures I did. I show you step by step basically how I did it on how I um, took bolts off with the grinder, cut the frame or uh, cut the uh, bracket around the cups, and then welded the cups and the bracket to the frame itself. All of it's on Facebook. And I'll show you guys right here the finished version of it. <clears throat> Now this right here is a performance 4.3 mount. It's actually, you go up there and you look for uh, the 4.3 engine mount for this particular truck. And then they got two versions. They got the stock mounts and the performance mounts. Make sure you get the performance mounts if you're going to do this. They come with thicker um, metal. So it's a lot harder and thicker metal than the original 4.3s. And it's a thicker, harder rubber than what the 4.3s have. So these right here will actually handle this V8. I'm also, um, it's something I've done in the past with uh, other builds, I'll put a safety chain that's either mounted to the head right here, go from there across the frame on the other side of the frame and bolt it. That way the driver's side of the engine can't lift up if it does go to break the mount, but I highly doubt it's going to do that with these mounts. But if you notice here, I welded all across here, welded all across here, on the bottom and the back side, that cup is completely welded solid to the frame. And here's the passenger side. And notice I welded all right here, all across the top and the back side. Um, like I said, check out my Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash reads projects. I show you basically step by step how I put the engine in there to tack weld the, uh, the mounts. And then took the engine back out, left the mounts there and finished welding them up, cleaned them up painter them and then drop the engine back in there and as you can see it is absolutely perfect there's really no getting it wrong now these trucks the 1988 version anyway the late models they actually offset the engine inside the engine compartment if you look really closely you can see the engine is offset to the passenger side I'm not really sure why they did that but a lot of the older models or late model um pickups they did this uh, so that is actually normal but the V8, as you can see, fit in there absolutely perfect. Now I'm waiting on the headers to get here. I'm going to get full, uh, full tube headers to put on it. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys this in case anybody wants to do a future swap with the V6 to V8. Uh, make sure you do it just like I do it here, and you won't have any problems in the future changing mounts or having to cut holes. And what I mean by cutting holes is right here. People would go and cut big old slots in the frame right here in order to get to the bolts on the back side of this bracket. And uh, I, I don't like doing that. I hate cutting into the frame. So I would much rather weld into the frame like this than I would cutting into the frame. Makes it a lot cleaner work and you don't ever have to mess with anything as far as the frame goes with cutting holes and trying to patch it and fill it in. So again I did all this in about a day one day's worth of work compared to two to three with trying to to cut the mounts out uh, cut holes in the slot getting the bolts out getting your mounts and all kinds of other stuff so much much easier if you go this route um, leave some comments in my uh, on my video if you like tell me what you think and uh, hopefully I'll be doing another video here very soon with uh, cranking this bad boy up and letting you guys hear it so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, let me know what you think.